Hey there folks! Today I have brought the camera down a little bit instead of the whole tripod thing that basically I really hate because I have like like a foot of a space worth working and I really like oh, my elbow room, what can I say? So anyway, I'm just trying this out. Don't know if it'll work, don't know if it'll stay, don't fall in love with it. Anyway, um, I'm just going to show you a quick tip. Um, I prefer my paint in jars because, well, it's not exactly easier to get out, but I feel like I waste less because, number one, it's easier to like, put back in if I don't use all that I've taken out. And, um, there's always, yeah, see this? There's always this gunk that dries and then it makes the, the caps hard to shut and close and open up and everything. And, you know, this is wasted paint. It's not a lot of wasted paint, but you know it adds up. And I don't like that. So today, I am putting my tube paints into little jars. These are plastic jars, which I have rescued from the trash or recycle bin because they used to have bullion cubes in them. Um, we have been buying the same bullion cubes my entire life, so that's a long time. And we've, we've literally, like, thousands of these and we've thrown most of them away or they you know they've left the house recycling whatever and uh so you know they're easy for me to get i suggest that you think about what is jar or is easy for you to get i did try baby food jars and let me tell you it worked what i did was you can do this too it might be good for you is i actually glued a little bit of sponge onto the cap it's on there pretty good I used E6000 glue. I tried hot glue, but it, the sponges came off because of the, the what the cap is made out of. But anyway, um, the sponge is damp, and it keeps a skin from forming onto the paint. And this was really good. The only reason that I don't like this, and I am going to this, is because, number one, this little jar here doesn't hold all of this paint. It holds about, well, a little bit less than half, which is okay. Uh, that's fine, except that now I have to put my two paints up on a shelf somewhere, and, you know, I need that shelf for something else, you know? I, I, and so instead of having my paint in two places, I want it in one place. Another thing that I don't like about the baby food jar is because it's hard to close. I mean, it closes well enough, it keeps the paint wet, but, um, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's not on quite straight and there's nothing I can do. Every time I open it up and close it again, it, it doesn't go on straight. So anyway, I like, I'm going to go for a screw top option here. Okay, I thought that there was something in there, but that's just bubbles. That's, that's a relief. Anyway, so um, I'm going to, first I'm going to put this in here. Well, you know what? Let me do that off the of camera, and I'm going to instead put the tube. Can you see this? There we go. You can see that. Here we are. Oh, this is weird. This camera angle is weird. Okay, so first I'm going to squeeze out all that I can. And this is good for metal tubes, too. I really don't like painting tubes, guys. One, number one of the cap thing that I already said, and... Yuck. Anyway, um, it's always hard to get the last bit out. And metal tubes are even worse because, you know, you squeeze it and th these, this end gets all crinkly and you can't get the paint that's caught in the crinkles. And unless you have one of them, like, um, pincher things or, t you know, whatever, it's really hard to get all of it. So, anyway, here I am squeezing hard doing my best to get all of it and you will be amazed at how much paint is still in here. Now, I bet you most of you guys would say, this is an empty tube, throw this away. But let me tell you one thing, it's not. We're going to need some scissors and, oh, open this up because the pressure of the scissors is going to need to have air escape. So we need a place to, that air to go, otherwise you'll have exploding paint and that's not good. Oh, and this is messy, guys. This is, you're going to get paint on your scissors, so clean those off good if you care about them. Um, now you can close the cap. 
and you're going to need a junk brush because we're going to get paint all up in here and you know that's bad for brushes so you know use one that's already been ruined and then you just basically you know look at all that in there holy cow this is this is almost a painting for me you know i do small paintings but this is almost a painting for me let me let me uh see if i can scooch it all together and then you can see just how much is in here because this is ridiculous you saw me squeeze this out i mean nobody is going to work harder to squeeze out a little bit of paint okay can you can you see all this look at all that look at all that in you go yeah that that's almost a whole painting just in this end that you know was empty Here's some more. Nice big glob of paint there. You see what I mean by getting paint all up on the brush? Now it's, it's okay if you don't have any junk brushes yet, like if you're a beginner and you're doing this, because if, as long as you wash it right away, it should be alright. Don't let the paint dry in there. And I mean wash it good with soap and everything. Okie dokie. Now this is the even worse culprit. You can probably see up in there. That's I mean you can't even really see the cap. I don't know if you can, if it's a, too much of a shadow or not, but anyway. Just scrape it down the sides. Use the brush to scrape it down the sides like this. Can you, can you see in there what I'm doing? Anyway. Scrape it all down in one big old pile and scoop it out. There's a big old glop. So when I get all of this scooped up let me show you what I do next now this is acrylic paint it will work for watercolors Spe this next thing I'm going to show you will especially work for watercolors and I have done it with watercolor tubes because they come in metal tubes and watercolor paint is expensive even more than acrylic paint really sometimes you know what I'm talking about you watercolorists so, um, I don't work with oils, but I don't see why this wouldn't work with oil paint. <laughs> I mean, really. Um, so basically, any, any kind that comes in a tube that you don't want in a tube. Okay, so, I got this cleaned out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of water and spray it on the sides. I'm not going to go crazy. Because I don't want the paint water too down. And I'm going to sort of put that water so it thins the paint down enough that I can get more of it. But it's not going to be thinned down too much that it's the, the acrylic polymer is going to be um, undone. You know what I mean? Because if you thin your acrylic paint down too much, then... It's not going to be plastic anymore. It will the the uh, binders will fall apart, and your paint won't stick to the canvas or whatever it is you're putting it on. Unless paper, it sticks to paper, all right. But anyway, I'm putting the watered down acrylic paint that I got out of here. I'm putting it in the other end to do the whole thing again. And yes, I'm being really stingy. I mean, you're probably rolling your eyes at me right now but let me tell you sometimes it's worth it sometimes it's worth it being a skin flint <laughs> okay and you know what with this paint that's in this bottom and then the other stuff that was in the top that watered down stuff is practically normal paint see it's a little bit drippier So we're getting more paint and with that little bit of water mixed all up in the other stuff not going to notice it at all and it's only going to be better to have a little bit of water because you're I don't think that you'll get a skin on it I mean the, with the baby food jars I had a sponge just because to be safe but I really don't think that's going to happen I don't think you're going to get a skin on it. So anyway, with watercolor paints, you want to do that, spray it, 
and scoop it out like until there's nothing because that watercolor paint is still good even though it's been watered down a whole lot and it once the water dries and evaporates you you have fully constituted paint again so you know do that i wouldn't know what to do with oils because let's face it, i don't paint with oils and i i know nothing about them so anyway what i do here is if i were to throw this into the trash and then you know the trash gets full and i pick it up and you know replace the bag whatever i'll get paint all over me so what i do is i sort of fold it up and then i stick it in there and then now there's there's very little paint that i can get on my hands even though you know i'm not afraid of that but if i don't have to wash my hands and you know why so anyway I, that's what i do throw that away and then you know i'll um put the rest of this in there and do the water trick thing again and if there's a lot of um, liquidy stuff on the top of this I might um, take my brush and stir it and then you know close it up put it in the drawer but first oh first what we do is we take a little bit of the paint and we label it that's my label I might put words on it if I have two similar colors and also I'll put the brand on it if I have more than one brand, which I do, so I'll probably do that. So anyway, that's my tip. And I kind of rambled and talked fast, and I'm sorry. But I really hope that you found this helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.